Good afternoon and um, welcome to my art studio in street on a beautiful summer's day. At the moment I, I'm doing quite a doing quite a lot of projects. I'm doing a project with Julie Lovelock. It's to do a St Ben's school in Glasbury. It's for funding and we're doing really big massive wall paintings and it's to get the children really really interested in in the art. So we've gone through the funding First of all, on the Friday we did a walk in Glasbury of all, 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 the, all the war paintings. The kids were really enthusiastic. We saw different styles. We also, met, also, which was exciting, we actually met an artist actually painting one of these really big war paintings. Wednesday we were going over to Red, Red Brick Room. The children will design, design the paintings, the drawings. And get, we're hopefully getting them onto the big canvases. Then we go in the next six weeks. We go over to the school, got to find some massive walls, paint them, prep them, prep them, and hopefully then the children will take over. So their ideas will be blown up from small pictures to much much bigger pictures. So that the, the headmaster really enjoy it because he he's really into it. So we're hopefully going to get interviews from the local press and from the news 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 people so hopefully especially after covid it's something to look forward to for the children something, something creative for them to do the other project i'm working on is a project in my own room hi there um here is one of my favorite paintings it's one of the first it's one of the biggest paintings i've ever done it's a, a wall painting in the style of the romanticised painters. So again, I'm looking at Turner, Edwin Church, um, and French painters like Monet and Claude Monet, what a really, really famous artist. Again, this is a, a maritime type of painting, but it's based in the, me the Mediterranean. Here you've got an electrical, massive, beautiful sunset. It's lighting up the picture like a like a volcano natural light the sun is dancing across the water you've got you've got finished villages around the bay again here industrial industrial fishing fishing was the industrial big industrials then in the 18th century again here you've got people fishing in, in, in all these boats again you can see the nets and these are the boys which keeps the nets up and again, you've got bollards to tie up the boats again. And again, you've got the seagulls trying to catch the fish. And also, again, you've got a really dramatic sky. It's been a hot, humid day and the thunder clouds are really starting to build up. And so you've got the contrast of the warm colours against the dark, moody colours. You've got here, you've got cumulus nimbus, thunder clouds or cumulus stratus nimbus. And you've got different forms and layers of clouds. So this harmonising calm against the natural splendour of a big thunderstorm. I decided to do a set of four smaller paintings. Um, some of it was discussed, some of it's a bit covered up an uh, air event. Uh, but I chose four paintings. Again, it's a romanticised or impressionist movement. Again, I'm looking at Turneresque type painting, but also looks like different artists. Again, it's it's focused on the maritime, maritime, and British history and things like that. Again, at the bottom, you've got a really. I wanted to show movement, not detail, movement and feeling of, of both boats approaching the harbour in a, in a fiery, moody sunset type of really that you feel your part, you feel the movement. In the overall pictures the next one is sailing boats again this is a moonlit moonlit moody paintings you've got the moonlight dancing across the water seagulls enhancing the quality of the painting and in the background you've got the harbour lights and in, in the foreground the rocks are really black really black so it really pulls a picture and the moon draws you into the eye the next one is of a sunrise come sunset this is a very loose very Quick painting, what I want to do. I want to capture mood, feeling. Uh, um, what day, what time is it? I put some seagulls in there to give it life, movement. I use the vanishing point, the golden triangle. So the idea of the golden triangle is always keep the viewers. Again, this is quite commercial. I'm looking for sponsors, people who want want this on their wall. So again, it's a it's a mix, mix and match. But again. It's the, the, my favourite word is the sublime. It's, uh, the, the paints I use is emotion paints, acrylics, 
not oils and I use fan brushes many many different materials and it's quite nice painting on something on, on this much much bigger scale